Hi, Christina Brown here with the Brown team at Sage Door Realty. There is a difference between closing and funding. Whether you're buying a house, you're selling a home, there is a lot of misconceptions around closing and funding. Are they the same thing? Do they happen on the same day? Let's dive in and talk about it. So when you are under contract, whether, like I said, you're on the sell side or the buy side, we mentioned something called your closing date. Closing date just simply means, hey, by this date, all parties to this contract must meet and complete all of the expectations and requirements set forth in the contract so that we can sit down at the title company and close this transaction. And what that means to close the transaction is that all the sellers who have agreed to sell, all the buyers who have agreed to buy will show up at their closing Typically, we don't close everybody at the same time. Typically, the seller closes with their agent and their title company at a time they designate. And then typically, the buyers and their agent and their lender at their title company will meet at that appointed time and they will sign all of their documents. So when we're talking about closing, we're typically talking about that appointment where we're sitting down, all requirements, deadlines, everything must be fulfilled. And then we're sitting there at the closing table signing all of these documents. At that time, typically the title company, who we call the closer as the representative for the title company, will be there in order to notarize, finalize all of the signatures at that time as well. And they will typically tell you ahead of time, if you're a buyer, how much funds are needed to bring to the closing table, which must be in the form of certified funds. You cannot bring cash, cannot write a personal check, must be be certified funds if you owe any money at that closing table you're going to know what to bring with you and it's collected from you at that time you could also wire the funds but they have to get those funds from you and get your signatures on everything and they have to notarize everything meanwhile on the seller side they're doing the same thing usually sellers aren't bringing money to the table but they're going to know what they will expect to walk away with once everything is closed and funded so at the closing it's not funded yet. That is just when the seller in this example is signing everything and finding out what their proceeds will be. And so once both parties have done all of that, then that title company has to reach out to the buyer's lender and their funding department to release the funds. So when everything is signed and notarized, that title company is required to send all those signed and notarized documents to that lender so that they can review it before they will agree to let any funds transpire and change places. So if you wait to close till too late in the day, this funding process may not happen until the next banking or business day. This is a huge reason why we rarely schedule closings on Fridays anymore, because if there is a delay in funding, it can also delay your possession. So those two things are often tied together. Usually we're negotiating that we want possession to be once it funds, because if that person moves in and the money hasn't changed places, we find out, whoop, there's an issue the lender isn't going to allow it to be funded now you have these people living in your home and there's a problem good luck getting them out it can be a major problem and a major headache and just a ton of stress for everyone so understanding the difference between closed and funded is super important you have to know you may not walk away from the closing table with your keys and you may not be able to start moving in right away these are discussions you need to have with your agent it's going to be based on what's in the contract and so just know sellers you're not going to walk away from the closing table with your proceeds right at that moment typically you have to go back and pick up a check or they can wire the funds into your account or mail them to you depending on what you arrange with that closer who is closing that transaction and notarizing all of those documents that's one of the very important parts of closing is how do you want your proceeds. And to help make all of this go smoother is to be sure the seller signs earlier in the day so that way when the buyer signs, then it can immediately go to get approval to fund and we're not then waiting for the sellers to sign as well. And it is even typical for sellers to sometimes even sign a day or two before closing. So that is a possibility. It can be delayed by a few hours if you close early enough in the day or it may be delayed 
late to the next business or banking day. So just a lot of things to keep in mind. We like to tell our buyers, don't plan for a moving truck to start moving in the day of closing. It's better to schedule for the following day just to ensure that you're going to have access. There's a lot of moving parts and a lot of things that have to happen. So let's talk a little bit more about funding. So the other part of funding is not just the funds change hands, but once everything is signed and agreed to, the title company also has to go back to their office, go to the county where the property is at that was purchased or sold, and file the deed to change ownership. So you've signed everything, but it then has to be filed and recorded with the county to make it official. And the lender will require that a lot of times as a funding requirement before they will release those funds. So closing is simply showing up, meeting all of your obligations, and signing all of the documentation. Funding is what happens after that. And again, if all the ducks are in a row and everybody does things like they should and the monies are there, it can typically fund within a few hours. Again, as long as you close early enough in the day, that's super key. But know your terms to your contract. Know the difference between closing and funding. And obviously, if you have questions or there's anything at all that we can help you with, we're here to help. So reach out. Have a great day.